Good evening, everyone. I'm going to call the special meeting for the Marion Township Board of Supervisors to order. The time is now 6.07 p.m. This special meeting is to review the bids that were submitted for the trash and recycling contract for Marion Township. Uh, there was one bid that was submitted. It was from uh, J.P. Mascaro. And just one sheet. Okay, there were a number of options. Uh, for curbside collection and disposal of municipal and solid waste, one time per week. The initial three-year term was $96.04. The first additional year option for residents per quarter was $102.39. And the second additional year option was $106.85. Uh, next was the curbside collection and disposal of municipal solid waste, one time per week, including the waste containers. Uh, this was the initial three-year term of $100.85 per quarter. Uh, with an additional year option of $107.20 per quarter and a second year additional option of $111.66 per quarter. Option two was curbside collection and non-landfill disposal recyclables uh, the, once every week, excuse me, once every other week. The initial three-year term for this was $43.15. The first additional year option was $46. The second additional year option was $48. The curbside collection, including recyclable containers for, uh, for the recyclables, was an initial three-year term per residence of uh, $47.96 per quarter. First additional year option was $50.81 uh, per quarter. Second additional year option was $52.81 per quarter. Uh, third option for curbside collection and disposal of municipal solid waste, one time uh, per week per bag option. Uh, was first three years at $8 per bag. First, edi first additional year after that was $8.50. Second additional year was $9. Uh, and there were some additional discounts that were shown for prepaying uh, at six months or one year intervals, discounts for senior citizens, as well as a, a table of miscellaneous fees and charges, such as wheeled cart rental for the initial three year and subsequent terms and uh, other fees and charges. So from looking this over, this is uh, considerably higher than what we have presently. Um, do we have anybody from JP Mascaro in the audience? Hello, nice to, nice to see you both. Um, in addition to the, the bid that we've just reviewed, is there anything that you would like to say? Uh, we would, thank you, if I could for a few minutes. Absolutely, please. Um, uh, if, if you could tip the, the microphone towards, oh, just make sure that it's pointing at you. You're fine. Sure. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Al DeGenero. Uh, and I'm Deputy General Counsel for J.P. Mascara and Sons. With me is, is Sam Augustine. If I could, I wanted to say a few words and then uh, let Sam talk, give you a little bit of background about our company and our proposal and why it is what it is. I've been with the company uh, almost 31 years. Uh, I'm in the legal department, but I work as much in bidding and government contracts and things like that. So I'm here on behalf of the company with regard to the proposal we submitted. I'm the person that ultimately reviewed it and signed off on it. So I know it's an order in terms of responsible, responsible bid. And Sam Augustine has been here 40 years with the company. I'll let him talk. I just wanted to talk to you for a couple minutes about our company. Uh, it's a family business. The typical American success story started out over 50 years ago with uh, the late Mr. Mascara Sr. in a pickup truck hauling scrap. He had five sons that worked for him and through a lot of hard work and perseverance turned it into a very successful business, but it's still a family business. Employees about 800 people um, in Pennsylvania, uh, and a few employees in New York and New Jersey and West Virginia were primarily a Pennsylvania company. In Berks County, you're at the western end, uh, but we have a, a depot in, in uh, Exeter Township. We have a landfill in Berks County uh, that if you talk to DEP, it's you know one of the most environmentally uh, secure, safe, and compliant landfills in this, this state. It's a local landfill. It primarily takes trash from Berks County, Montgomery County, Chester, the surrounding uh, greater Philadelphia and uh, Berks area. And we also have a state-of-the-art recycling uh, facility called Total Recycle that we just opened uh, about three years ago that probably is, if not the most current technologically advanced recycling facility, it's one of the uh, most technologically advanced facilities. It's where the single stream recyclables go and get separated. So I give you that little background because we pride ourselves on being uh, a leader in the industry while we're a very successful company and can, can compete with the national public companies. We're still a family business and we like to think that we have the resources to compete with the national 
compete with the national public companies, but we're still a family business. You can pick up the phone and talk to the president. Actually, one of the owners, there's four brothers, to still participate. We've been here a long time, and I know uh, this uh, is a very uh, difficult time in our industry. If you don't know that, uh, the pricing uh, has gone through the roof in the last 18 to 20 months. Sam's going to speak of that more in detail, but I just want to share with you an experience I have because I go to all the municipalities, and we have, I, I don't want to take too much time, but if you looked on our website, if necessary, we have four landfills, we have three transfer stations, we have about 15 different operating divisions. So we're, we're really a successful company, but uh, uh, most of our bread and butter is municipal work, municipal contracts east of the Susquehanna and pro primarily in this area up through the Northeast and Scranton and down through the five county area in Philadelphia and Montgomery County. But I go to a lot of municipal meetings and I remember this is like deja vu. And sometimes the best prediction of what happens in the future is what happened in the past. We have a transfer station in a borough called Bridgeport, a nice small quaint borough in, in Montgomery County. Uh, and we've had a very good relationship with them. We keep winning the bid every time they go out to bid because we're right there. We're the most competitive. And it went out two years ago and it was a two year bid, a three year bid, and a five year bid. And the borough manager, Keith, you know, was him and Han about the price. I said, Keith, look, all I can tell you is it's not getting any cheaper and things are changing in our industry. And, and he said, well, I don't think council is going to go for a long term contract. We're going to go for a two-year contract. That was two years in 19 and 2019. Contract is ending this year, starting in 2021, 20, 20, uh, middle of the year, he's got to rebid. And I can't tell you how, how uh, disappointed he is for two years ago, not going with a five-year contract. Uh, why do I tell you that? Because I, I, I understand that the current uh, contractor, you have an option that you may choose to exercise. You know your, you know your township. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But I can honestly look you in the eyes and tell you that this industry is changing uh, in terms of pricing, in terms of everything. Uh, steel with what's going on out of the country it takes us a year to get a truck, uh, health, workers' comp. I can go on and on about the cost. My point to you is that uh, it may look attractive to you now to kick the can down the road for two years. But I would suggest to you that what happened two years ago in terms of pricing, the pricing that you have today will not be what the pricing will be two years from now. I realize it's a, I realize you got a gulp, but I'm pretty confident that if you awarded a multi-year contract now in two years, you'd be glad you did that, not being not having to go out the bid because our market it's shrinking, it's changing, everything's going up. And I want Sam just to talk to you. I don't know if you have that handout he sent to you to give you an idea uh, with there's an attachment. Uh, is it Patty? Did you, is is that letter out here for these folks to see with the attachment that we hand delivered? Did you get something hand delivered to you yes. maybe yesterday before two o'clock? Yes. Only because I want yeah I wanted you to see there there's information about our company there but but Sam wants to speak to you about the letter because there's an attachment that um, is that it Sam? Yes. Yeah. One, uh, so I'll let Sam talk to you about. Uh, the letter and the attack to give you an idea of what, what's happened in our industry with pricing. I yeah. appreciate your time. It's, it's, it's we'd be page. happy to answer any questions. It's this page is most important. The rest is a. Okay. Uh, I'm Sam Augustine. I'm the director of sales uh, for JP Mascaro and Sons. And we appreciate the opportunity to be here and to speak to you about this bid. Uh, obviously, it's, 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 I don't, I think it's these. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you left that one here, yeah. I can, I can look at this. Yeah, it's the red ones. Yeah. yeah, the red ones. I think it's on the, some, but what, what, uh, what Al, 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 uh, pointed out, what we're dealing with in our industry, um, from the years 2010 to 2020, uh, the pricing was relatively stable in the trash industry. And, Starting, starting in the year 2018, um, uh, costs just start, started skyrocketing because of various, uh, various problems. And COVID, uh, when COVID started in 2020, uh, first labor costs, labor costs skyrocketed. I'm sure that uh, you, you fellows are in business. You understand that labor costs, labor costs have probably gone up 50% in the past five years. I know that you bid in 2019, but labor costs have skyrocketed. Uh, it's been very, very difficult uh, trying to uh, hire CDL drivers. Secondly, 
Secondly, steel has doubled in cost, which has affected our equipment. And uh, Al had also pointed that out. And besides that now, fuel has become a huge uh, uh, problem. Uh, and not just because of the last 30 days, but uh, fuel, fuel has, uh, has gone up over 100% and has been very, very uh, difficult to control and will be very, very difficult to control uh, over at least the short term. Um, <clears throat> bid, bids, your bid is not any different than many of the bids that we have uh, uh, retained over the, those are bids that we have retained over the past 18 to 24 months. And uh, you can see that those bids have gone up anywhere from 50 to 100%. Um, you, you had, a, you had a, uh, an envy of, enviable bid in, in 2019, uh, but going forward, it's going to be, it's going to be uh, you're not gonna be able to control your costs. What we have in front of you is a bid uh, that over the next five years will give you uh, it's it's going to cause immediate pain, but will give you a, an ability to uh, budget your waste removal for the next five years. Uh, some of the some of the issues you have in Marion Township is this is a still a um, basically a rural community. It only has 455 houses or 400 I guess 450 houses. And you have about 15 square miles, so it's uh, it, it to, you have to take a full day to collect it by a truck, uh, not only for the trash but also uh, with the recyclables. You have to take you have to take a full day to get through the roads. Now uh, we put in this is not a throw in throw in bid. This this is a this is an excellent bid over the next five years. We just secured a contract in. Uh, Hanover Township, Lehigh County, they have a very similar number of units. Uh, they had 400, they have about 450 units, but their, their area is only about four square miles. It's near the Lehigh Valley Airport. I don't know if you know where the, you know, the Lehigh Valley Airport is. Well, they have a, they, they really have a lot of commercial development in their township. So it's different than here, but their 450 units are in a much small, smaller landmass. I think their, their landmass is only about four square miles. And we bid in that community, no containers, there's no containers in that bid. And we bid uh, about $44 a unit there uh, over the next five years. So it's a very, very similar bid. And $44, $44 per month, yeah, $44 per month. Um, and it's a very, very, it's a very, very similar similar community to yours, except it's not rural. So you guys have a rural community, which is more difficult to pick up. So I can tell you, you have an excellent bid in front of you. It's over the next five years. You have a company that's, I consider it to be the strongest trash company, uh, trash and recycling company in Pennsylvania. I don't know if you're familiar with our recycling plant and landfill, but uh, those showpieces down in, in, in Birdsboro. So uh, we would love to have your business. We service 80 municipalities in Eastern Pennsylvania. Uh, we've had long-term contracts with the same communities for years and years, and we'd love to add you to the list. We're servicing South Heidelberg. Uh, we received South Heidelberg three years ago, so we're servicing it. And I believe, I don't know if it touches this township, but it's certainly uh, pretty close to this township. So um, uh, we welcome any question you have. Uh, and uh, again, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so Jim, just doing the mental math while this nice gentleman was, was talking is uh, over the next two years, the difference between current contract and the other contract comes to about $500 per household as a net increase. Um, and while I agree with you that absolutely the industry is changing, every industry is changing, especially around supply related shortages and everything else. Um, I just, I don't know that that's in our best interest to switch off of. Um, I do recognize that in two years, when we go to bid this out again, that it will probably be higher. Most things in life, especially now, go up rather than down. Um, and personally, my, my assessment on this is we should stick with what we have for the time being. But I, I look forward to two years from now, 
seeing a, a bid packet again from JP we Mascaro. Did, we did the last time. Yep. And I think we were in, in the middle middle thirties. Yeah. So you see you see the change since then. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll certainly be interested the next time. However, <clears throat> what kind of service are you getting? There's everybody has complaints now and again, but I think that's no matter where you go, you have some people who aren't necessarily thrilled with it. Uh, overall, uh, I would say it's it's not bad service. Yeah. Totally, and one of them is because this includes the billing of the units, mm -hmm. so that is an extra cost factor that we have to take into consideration because uh, you know we we have to handle the bid. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, and again, I appreciate the yeah. the bid, and I appreciate you you both coming out and talking yeah. to us. Yeah. Um, Jim, are you of similar mind? Okay. Well, with that said, because of just the, the time sensitive nature of uh, this, I had Andy prepare two different versions just in case of the contract renewal for, for Eagle. One of them is a one year, one of them is a two year. Uh, at this point, I would say let's authorize the, the two year. Are you actually making motion oh, to deny the bid? Oh, yes, I, I do have to reject the bid, but I'm just, just kind of, yeah, yeah. I'm just, Jim, uh, I'm thinking the two year rather than the one year, it's simply because, as you fine gentlemen put, if things are going to go up, you might as well lock in. Um, so, first and foremost, I'll make a motion to reject all bids. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. And then next, we would need a motion to, uh, I guess, would be uh, accept or adopt the uh, amendment to the contract for the Eagle disposal agreement to continue it for another two years. Second. What's the cost on legal? Hi. Hi. Okay. If we don't have any other business on the agenda, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Yeah, six. Uh, six twenty-five. Roll call, Peter. Hi. Jim. Hi. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, good luck, Peter. Thanks for your time. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you, gentlemen.